we are very excited to reintroduce VeloCloud into the software-defined edge. As some of you know, VeloCloud is the leading provider of SD-WAN for all enterprises, particularly those provided by the telecom channel. And we are reintroducing this brand because it is the most familiar brand that people know. Plus, we are adding new capabilities into this, including the integration that we have on the security side, but also the facilities that VeloCloud provides for edge computing on the top and hiding the complexity of new underlays, including satellite ones. So we are, couldn't be more excited to say that not just VeloCloud is back, but VeloCloud is back with a whole set of new features and services for you, the enterprise, and you, the telecom operator, because this business continues to grow extremely rapidly, and we are very proud to be the number one in the space. What's interesting about VeloCloud and the so-called name change is that our customers and partners, whenever we talked to them, uh, even the analyst community, whenever we had an interaction with them, they would still refer to it as VeloCloud. So we were calling it VMware SD-WAN, you know, we were calling it all these different names. Uh, and whenever people would talk to us, they would say VeloCloud. And then we wouldn't correct them, or maybe initially we'd correct them, and then eventually the conversation would keep going. But the VeloCloud name never actually left. We just stopped using it as part of our vernacular, but it never left the vernacular of our customers, partners, and the analyst community. Now, usually software-defined WAN is looked at as a solution for connecting your branch offices together. But for us, SD-WAN has a much broader role to play. SD-WAN and VeloCloud is an intelligent overlay. What we mean by that is the overlay runs on top of different underlays. So it could be broadband, MPLS, 5G, and now a variety of new wireless networks that are coming in, including satellite networks. But the enterprise doesn't want to deal with the complexity of each of these underlays. Besides that, what the telecom operator wants to do is to provide new services for which they can charge more for, but that provide you with additional benefits and value. The only way to do this is to say certain applications really require more services and those applications and the businesses behind them are willing to pay more for those. Now, the intelligence part of the overlay recognizes the application and then can take certain decisions based on a business policy that you set to not just hide the complexity of the underlay, but then to make the underlay behave in a certain way for those applications. A very simple example, you go to watch a Super Bowl game or a cricket game or a soccer game. If you were able to say that I'm willing to pay a dollar more, but I would get the best quality connection because I want to share my experience with all my friends out there, then an intelligent overlay allows you to do that because it understands the application and using a business policy, you can program the underlay to make that happen, which is why we believe and we think VeloCloud and SD-WAN has a much broader role than sim simply being a branch office connectivity solution. And so if we think about everything we need to do to deliver our workloads, to orchestrate workloads, uh, whether those are compute, whether those are applications, so on and so forth, the overlay piece is essentially the referee providing resources and availability to the uh, compute stack, and it farms those resources and uh, finds them from the network layer under, underneath. And so the overlay is a critical component of the software-defined edge. In order to deliver edge compute and edge networking, you've got to have an overlay layer that connects the two, and that's how the overlay is part of the software-defined edge.